Libras, what's going on, my loves? We're going to check your energy. Thank you to everyone that's like, share, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, I appreciate you. If this is your first time seeing me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that uh, the reading resonates and you find yourself returning back again. For those of you that are back again, welcome back, my loves. Okay? Libra, we're going to get into your energy. Okay? We're going to see who's pulling on you, who's in your energy, who wants what. We're going to take a look. Okay? The reading may not resonate with everyone. Um, so you take the sections that resonate with you. Leave the ones that don't. Understand that this could be um, masculine or feminine energy. It doesn't matter which side it's on. And if nothing resonates with you, uh, you may want to look at um, some of your other signs that are in your birth chart, my love. Okay? Or just maybe I'm just not the reader for you this week. And it's okay. You know, that happens. Um, now let's see here. All right, so straight out the gate, we got someone saying, you know what, can you think about polygamy? Why? Because I'm out here trying to have my cake and eat it too, right? Um, someone may, you know, this is a person that may have um, either impregnated someone, okay? Or either this is someone that is currently pregnant, okay? This is someone that says, you know, I didn't realize the connection that I had with you, Libra. I didn't realize, you know, what you were. Um, Libra, I'm feeling like you guys maybe have a different type of mental when it comes to relationships, right? Some of you, um, you may feel like alternative lifestyles or alternative relationships might work better for you. Right. For some of you, you feel like there is a positive um, movement towards um, polygamy um, and those types of environments. You see uh, where you would be able to utilize, you know, the strengths and the different aspects of whether you're with a man or a woman. Right. So, you know, you have the finances, of course, uh, that you all could come together with. And you have the resources, right? Someone could be a lawyer, someone could be a doctor, someone could be a farmer. You know, you're able to dig into all of those resources and live off of each other, okay? So someone can see the dynamic of that. Someone here um, feels like, you know, that would be something that they would be interested in. Someone here could be looking at you, Libra, um, and wanting to see if you would be a viable candidate for something of that nature as well, okay? Um, someone here could also want to have kids if they do not have kids and could feel like you would be the ultimate prospect for that. You know, someone could be trying to have a family type of situation, right? So someone could be coming to you and saying, you know, I want to marry you. You know, I feel like you're a good prospect. I feel like you would bring a goodness um, to my life, right? Um, and you would teach me a lot as well because Libras are teachers. Um, the balance and the, the and the teaching element of the zodiacs. Um, but this is someone that may feel like you're still stuck on your ex, right? Or that you could still be in a marriage, Libra. Take it how it resonates. This person can also be married as well. Um, and may feel like they can't get away from their situation. Um, so someone here is saying, you know what? I know I'm toxic and I know my situation. Yep, here we go. Thank you, spirit. I know my situation is toxic. I'm still stuck to someone. Could be married to someone. You know, right now, while I'm still in this connection, it's not a good thing uh, for me to even be bothered. It's not a good thing for you to be bothered, right? Um, but absolutely someone coming through this energy feels like um, either you're a good candidate for pregnancy um, they would like 
um, to have kids with you. Maybe someone around them could be pregnant that they're attached to, etc. Right? We're just going to dig in. Let's dig in some more Aries. Uh, ooh, I just said Aries. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries. I didn't mean to say that. Um, but nothing in tarot is by chance. I'm talking to Libra. Okay? So someone could be dealing with an Aries. It just flew out my mouth. Wow. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah. Okay, so someone is dealing with someone um, in a third party. Okay? So there's a dominant person. Um, that is leading the way for this po polygamy situation. Um, and someone um, is either trying to recruit someone or they're looking at their life and saying, you know what, you know, this is not how I saw my life going or this, my life would be better if it was this way or included these people, etc. cetera. Um, let me see what this is. Yeah, someone could be watching someone else. Okay. They feel like someone has gone cold on them, they, meaning that, you know, someone is not being as communicative, um, communicative, <laughs> I couldn't get the whole word out, I'm sorry, um, and someone's like, you know what, I'm not going to communicate because, yeah, it feels to me like you're a little bit unstable or your views are not um, the views that I have for my life, and I feel like Yours are more emotional, where mine's are more logical, if that makes sense to someone here. Okay. Yeah. Someone could feel um, like someone is making movements in their life. Um, and they don't really understand how someone is moving, but something has come to an end here. And someone may not be happy about the ending, okay? Because they feel like there's still something there. There's still something special that need, that needs to be um, investigated or needs to be tapped into in a union of some nature. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't know what type of energy this is coming through here. Yeah, someone feels like someone's moving very secretive. Like they're they're not moving like they normally would move. Um, because normally and generally, they're more um, talkative. Man, I'm not even going to tempt that word again because my mouth is not even trying to say it today. Communi communi communicative. Communi com uh, someone is not communicating. <laughs> someone may be having um, throat chakra issues as well. Someone's not saying what they need to say. Come on, y'all. I can't even talk today. What is going on here, Libras? Um, there's something going on to where someone's wearing a false mask and when I say that someone is doing everything in their power to be sneaky and to do things so that someone cannot find out because they know if someone finds out what they've been doing they're gonna they're they're going to be embarrassed right they're not gonna have an explanation okay Someone could be watching someone else as well on social media and may not want anyone to know that they're currently watching someone, you know, and they may deny this. Yeah, I'm not watching what you're doing. I'm, I'm not beat like that. I'm not, you know, into this person anymore or I'm not, you know, beat for what they're doing. But someone absolutely is. Yep, look. We have another watching card, a warning card. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me pull it up. Can y'all see these cards? Pull them up a little bit so you can see. Yep. Someone is televisioned on what it is that someone is doing here. Okay. They feel like they need to keep an eye on someone. Um, and I feel like someone is like, you know what, I'm on my way out the door. I'm about to be, you know, free to do what I want. And this person may be looking into um, having some sort of um, polygamous lifestyle going forward. Um, and they want to be connected to who they want to be connected to. Yep. Someone is, this is what I was feeling, like that envious feeling. Evil eyes is, is, um, is here. So someone may want to 
be making sure that you're doing your spiritual baths and spiritual showers. If you don't know how to do that, just inbox me um, and I'll tell you what to do. Also, you know what? I think I did add it to uh, my my um, information. So on one of my pages, um, is it about? Something like that. Um, you guys can go and go to the link. It might be at the top of my page as well, on my main page. Um, to, to get to the spiritual bath um, instructions, guys. Yep, somebody's going crazy because they don't know what someone is up to here, right? And even though they're watching them, they're feeling some sort of way, right? They can't be 100% um, honest about something that they have done. So they're trying to watch what someone else is doing. And this is like, yeah, I know that you may be seeing someone else or you may have someone else, right? I know that that may be going on. Um, yeah, but I'm upset about it. I'm envious about it. You're not moving the way that you normally would move. You know, it's driving someone mentally crazy here. Someone doesn't know what to do. Um, and they feel like someone is absolutely going to move towards a polygamous lifestyle if they have the chance. Yep. Someone may be texting someone and then deleting the message, right? So um, I do that sometimes because I'm always checking my tone in text messaging. I know how text messages can can uh, come off, right? And I always want to make sure that my tone is correct so that the person that I'm texting is not getting the wrong idea um, about what I'm asking. And someone here is um, is typing out messages, but they're deleting them. Um, because they don't want someone to feel some sort of way by what they're saying, okay? Um, this person uh, could be plotting in some way, could be thinking of some things to do um, or how to get their point across or how to um, be able to let someone know how they're feeling. Um, this person seems to be going through some sort of emotional breakdown right now uh, with with their thinking process. But someone is saying, yo, they're not going through an emotional breakdown. They're actually just an attention person. They're just an attention um, seeker, okay? This person just wants my mind on them. And I've told them um, that my mind is not on them. My mind is on me. So someone may be trying to think for themselves here. Um, but someone is trying to pull the energy back towards them. Okay. Um, yeah, this 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 reading is weird. But give me one more card. Or, oh, thank you. Okay. I said one more card. I get two. Yeah, someone's a liar. Okay. And someone may, may need to um, understand that, you know, they may have a friend that's lying to them as well. Or if this is their person coming through this energy... They may not be telling you everything that they need to tell you, okay? Um, they may be holding out on some energy or holding out um, on some information because, you know, they don't know how to tell you, okay? Um, they feel like there's going to be a breakdown of some nature or someone's going to be upset uh, by what they say, okay? So someone um, knows that they're toxic, you know? Someone saying, you know what, I'm done with the toxicity. You know, I got to go my way, you go yours here, whoever this person is, right? Um, but someone, yeah, one person is very spiritual, right? And the person that's over here doing the lying is going to try to tempt this person with some intimacy, okay? Um, I don't feel like that's going to work though. But even if it does, it's just a temporary occasion or a temporary event. Uh, but it's not going to change that person's mind. Okay, so someone here is still going to be focused on what they need to be focused on. And that is also going to upset someone. So like, how did I just have sex with you? Or how did I just offer myself to you? And you're still on that one track energy of wanting to do what you want to do. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is different, this energy. I'm not sure who 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 this reading is for, guys. But yeah, this one um, it's a little weird. But someone out there will resonate with it. I know. Yep, tragic romance. Spirit is saying, yeah, it's time to get away from this because you've been stuck in in a situation ship or a relationship for for some period of time, and it's just only succeeded to make you very unclear 
uh, and confused because it did not elevate you in any way. It did not pour into you in any way. Okay. Um, this person coming through this energy is feeling like they want revenge on you because yeah, with this tainted romance, they feel like you're doing everything in your power to move secretly and to move towards having a different type of life and away from them. Right. And they don't know what to do to stop it. Okay. Hmm. Page of Pentacles energy here. Okay, so someone here is setting up solid beginnings for themselves. Moving away from this toxicity, someone is creating a new life for themselves. And yes, yeah, someone is not happy about it. Okay, you know, um, someone is going into their new life with an open mind. Um, they're getting back to being a person that can be counted on. Okay. Someone may be looking for a new job as well, but there's an ending here, okay? Uh, when I see the world card, that means that you have successfully completed the lesson. You've successfully walked yourself to a place of being able to be on the brink of a new beginning, right? So you're walking forward, not going backwards, understanding that the sky's the limit for you right now, and you have ended whatever this is, and there's no looking back for you, right? So that's beautiful energy. Someone may be uh, upset that someone here has, like, drawn a line in the sand, per se, and has said, you know, enough is enough, right? I'm going to invest in me now. I'm going to put all my love, my attention, my nurturing into me, right? And yeah, you know, it may be a bit of an adventure. You know, people may feel like I'm being careless with my situation, um, but it doesn't matter to me because I don't really care what they think, right? Even if they feel like I'm being foolish with my decision, I know that this decision works for me, even if it doesn't work for anyone else, and that's what I'm rocking with, right? So yeah, this is my decision. Thank you, Spirit, for coming through. Two of Swords energy coming through. This is Libra energy coming out here on the deck. Okay, right? I'm tired of sitting at a stalemate. I'm tired of sitting on the fence. I'm tired of wondering how my life is going to go and how I'm going to get out of these stressful, this, this stressful place that I've been in for quite some time. I'm going to face my fear and I'm going to go about where I need to go. All right? For some of you, you may have uh, two relationships uh, that are on your mind as you leave, okay? You may have, um, you know, more than one person on your mind that is offering uh, companionship to you at this time. Spirit wants you to bypass that. They are our maybe. You see all these maybes, right? What Spirit wants you to do is continue on your path of going forward with yourself, of, of making sure um, that you're, you're continuing on your healing progress, right? Or your process, making sure that you're calming your energy down and doing everything that you should do uh, or can do for yourself, right? That's meditation. That's getting your sleep in. It's taking care of your body, all right? It's making sure that that meat suit of yours um, is, is, is uh, coming about in the way that you have envisioned it to be, right? Putting your energy on yourself is what spirit wants you to do, right? For some of you, you need to be um, traveling as well. You could be traveling in some way. Some of you could travel for work, take how it resonates. Um, but yeah, you know, you need a vacation, whoever I'm talking to, right? We got Libra energy coming back out here. This is going to be your justice, right? You know, you've, you're done with the consequences of, of being with a person that is not what you need them to be, right? So whoever this energy is coming through here, this person, you know, they may miss you. They may want to be around you. They may crave you in some ways, um, but they know... Um, that either their outlook on relationships is different or yours is, and it's just not going to be a good match. It would be something um, that is very toxic, okay? 
Um, so any contracts, settlements, anything going on, people may be going through some sort of um, issues with the courts or law or something um, is being resolved or settled at this time. So just keep that on your mind as you go forward, right? Six of Pentacles energy is here, right? You know, um, you know, being generous with your time and your energy, um, being able to finally give to the, the things that you want to give to. Um, getting the energy here of someone being so drained that they couldn't even do what they wanted to do with their money, okay? Could have been some sort of employment issue or a home issue. Um, but I feel like someone is, you know, needing to um, at least be generous with themselves right now, right? Understand that you're a prosperous being. Understand that you have the power. No one has authority over you. Um and that you control your life. You're in control of all things you, okay? Um, so if you do go into any type of new uh, situation or if you are contemplating a new situation, uh, make sure that they're giving you as you're giving, right? It's a reciprocation there. Make sure that you're getting exactly what it is that you've always envisioned for yourself from that person and nothing less, right? Because spirit feels here that somebody here may have been taking less than um what they desired you know in order to to hold the peace okay um so spirit wants you to stay in a sense of gratitude at all times understand that you're valued understand that you matter um and understand um that you're on the right path uh path with this transitional energy aquarius energy okay um spirit is saying yeah you you're doing right right by by going away from whatever it has been um, uh, keeping you stuck and stagnant, you know, you're doing the work that you need to do. And this healing process um, is in, um, in, in motion right now. So it's happening right now. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys, Libras. Um, I'll send you the utmost love and light. If anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below. Um, also, please make sure that you guys connect with me on TikTok. I am over there as well. Um, and I do a little bit of a different um, set of readings, okay? Um, you guys take care.